All right, good morning, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Thursday Mobility Flow Live. My name is Coach Deb, and today we will be working with the two tall sticks. So warming up a little bit with one, moving to the second. Uh, one of the things to make sure you have handy is an anchor point. Um, some of our movements are gonna be unilateral and we'll be driving the stick into a nice anchor point, right into a wall. I'm gonna be using my couch right here so you guys don't really see it in the view. Anyway, let's get this day rolling. <laughs> okay, taking a nice wide horse stance. Just light grip on your stick. And let's start with our three planes motion stretch. Inhale, taking a big opening with that upper body and exhale. Two more, inhale up and exhale. Again, inhale up high, holding that stick up high. Again, you have a light grip, just maybe 10 to 20% tension here and take a nice lateral tilt to one side. Nice and easy. Feeling the tilt only in the upper body. Keep the lower body stable. Start working the breath. Stick up high again. Take a nice little wall slide behind the head and neck. And extend those arms up high. Let's do two more, wall slide behind head, neck, just tipping the shoulders, just getting the upper body warmed up. And again, those three planes. Resting the stick right across the shoulders. Open the arms just a little bit wider. Let's take a nice transverse turn, turning to the right or whichever side you want, just turn. And just go to your range of motion. You don't have to go too deep on this turn. Let's take it slowly to the other side. Little rotation here. Let's do one more. Nice little turn. And so the leverage is in that front hand. You, you're in control of how deep you wanna go. You wanna give yourself a little bit extra range of motion here. And bring it back center. Nice. Bring those arms in. Wrap the stick right in front of the body. And feet parallel. We're gonna start with a nice little hinge going into the backs of the legs. Hinging forward, pressing the stick into your hips. Just 90 degrees, hold. Looking towards the floor. And slowly come out of that hinge. Soften those shoulders. Let's do two more, each time progressing a little bit deeper into that stretch behind the legs, hamstrings. Going a little deeper. Stick is still pressed into the hip, um, thighs now actually, probably right into the thighs. And slowly come back up. One more time, hinging forward, deeper stretch here, breathe. And soften the knees, slowly, slowly, come on out, nice. Go ahead and roll the stick across the hips. We're gonna do a nice little wrap of the stick behind the head and neck. A little more rotation, opening up the thoracic spine. Let's start to the right and dip and wrap, nice. Really focus on what your body's feeling here and that upper body. Let's do one more. Nice big wrap. And take it across the hips. So a little, little dynamic stretch here. Let's take it to that opposite side. Wrap up and around. Nice. Let's do it again. And center. Activating our grip. Stick comes up, chest height. 
Your arms are slightly wider than your shoulders. 20 to 30% tension, pushing the stick together, focusing on your wrists. One, two, three, and push. So you're activating that interior chain here, feeling it in the pecs. 20 to 30% pull, pull. And again, push. One more time, pull. As you're pulling, raise that stick right above the head. Arms open, again. Grip is at 20 to 30% tension, not too hard, just, just warming up the wrist joints. And push, feeling it in those shoulders now. One more time, pull. And one more time, push. And lower the stick right to chest height. Pull. And lower it right to the hips. This time, switching our grip. Your thumbs are pointing out. It's gonna be a little bit, you're gonna activate the biceps a little bit more. Here we go. This time think 30 to 40%, a little bit stronger. One, two, three, and push. Nice. Now pull, posterior chain. Miss Ruby likes the yoga mat. <laughs> and push. And release. Nice job, you guys. Okay, taking the six to 12 o'clock. We're gonna do a nice little um, child pose, getting a nice spine stretch. Your grip is right about chest height. Take an inhale, pull the stick in. As you exhale, extend, pull the hips back looking between those arms. Draw the navel in, little C curve in the spine, and slowly come out of it. We're gonna do that again and add a little rotation. I'll show it to you this way. Drive the stick in. You're radiating into the floor at least 30 to 40%. Inhale, exhale, and open. Looking, this is a spine stretch. Feeling this all through your lats, erector spinae. You're feeling it right through those arms. Now, lifting your head and just go ahead and cross over to the left. So, this is the you want to make sure it's your shoulder that you're stretching here. Cross over. You want nice shoulder stretch and come back center. One more time to that same side. Big inhale and exhale. Come back center and slowly come on out. Switching your grip up. This time the left hand is stacked on top or whichever hand, just reverse it for yourself. Draw the stick in and extend. Drive the stick in. Big inhale, exhale. Lift the head, clear a pathway here and cross over. Again, focusing on your delt here. Feel the nice lengthening through that shoulder and come back center. Let's do it again. Same side, big inhale with the breath. Let the breath assist you and exhale. Wrap it back to the center, soften the knees and slowly come out of it. Grabbing your second stick. So I'm working with the six foot sticks. If you're 5'10 and above, you would want a seven foot stick. So you have nice high grip here. All right, here we go. Driving the sticks are parallel. You're again in that nice white horse stance. Feet are slightly turned out. Sticks maybe about a foot apart. And we're gonna take a nice lateral movement here. But the key here is driving those sticks into the floor. You have to have a nice strong connection. 
think at least 30 to 40% tension, maybe a little bit more. And let's move to the right and the six follow. Keep driving and alternate. My arms are extended. They're bone straight. Arms are nice and strong and straight. So with the arms, I'm driving those sticks into the floor as I hit those adductors in a nice stretch. This feels good. I need it. <laughs> Teach a few cycling classes a week, so this is a good one. Let's do a couple more. And come back center, round out of it, and let's bring the sticks out, and we're gonna open up the upper body, human sail. Sticks come on the inside of the feet here. Again, you're in a nice sports stance or horse stance. We're gonna raise our grip a little bit higher, probably about eye height, eye height here, and drive those sticks in. Breathe. Again, think about that tension into the floor to keep a nice strong connection. Wrap the sticks to the front. Arms are bone straight. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, start to open those arms wide. Nice and wide. Pulling in behind you. Again, just go to your range. And we're gonna do two more. Wrap the sticks in front, pull the hips back. Now, reach, feeling it through the lats, big inhale, and exhale, open into that human sail. Look up, going a little deeper. And again, back to the front. Make this one your best one. Maybe you go 10 to 20% deeper range motion. And arms come back. Keep driving the sticks into the floor. Hold, hold, hold. Strong grip and wrap it back to the front. Bring the sticks back to parallel. We're gonna do a nice little hip warm up. So you're standing right between the sticks, right knee comes up, right between, right between those sticks, drive. Go ahead and just internally rotate, push that outside heel into, into the um, grippy part if you can, you'll have a better traction here, push. It's about 20 to 30% tension that you're pushing into the stick Try to keep those hips stabilized. Keep driving the sticks in. Externally rotate and push into the other side. Push. Go back to the opposite side. Keep the knee center as much as possible and push. Slowly glide your foot up a little bit higher, a little bit higher and keep that tension. Back to that external rotation and push on that opposite stick. And slowly glide the foot down, back to center, hold it here. Little flexion and extension with that leg. And we're gonna get ready to go back into a single leg Balance, so kick back, extending those sticks forward, and hold. Driving those sticks in. Can we open the arms a little bit? Out to a T. This is an option, keep driving those sticks into the floor. Breathe, do a little strength work here with our balance and bring it back center. Kick that leg back a little further and come back to start, nice. Left side or opposite side that you just worked. Drive, knee comes up, keep it center. 
Keep it right in the center, 90 degrees. Breathe. Let's go ahead and do a little internal rotation and push. Think about that tension again. Think about the tension. Think 30 to 40%. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And external and push right on the instep of that foot. Again, the goal is to keep that knee centered, driving those sticks. We're working here, it may look like nothing, but if you're pushing and radiating the sticks into the floor, putting that tension in the stick, lots of muscles are activated here. Switch to the other side, push. Now start to glide the leg up a little bit higher if you can, if not, just keep it where it is and press. See the little bow in there, I'm putting a little tension in that. Let's take it to the other side. Press, focus on keeping the knee center. So you're really hitting that adductor now too. Right where the attachment of the adductor to that pelvis is, push. And glide it down. Bring it center, little flexion and extension. Getting ready to kick back to our single leg balance. There we go. Slowly kick the leg back as you drive the sticks towards me. Looking to the floor. Drive. Hold. For an extra little challenge, if you want to try to open those arms to a T, go for it. Opening up the chest. And slowly wrap it back. Come back to stand. And release. Nice job. Another move with the double stick and then we're gonna move to single stick. We're gonna go right into our hanging monkey. Double stick with a split stance. Let's start with that right foot forward. Left back. I'm gonna show it to you this way. It's like, it's a high lunge, it's a high lunge. Dorsey flex that back foot. My front foot is slightly in front of the sticks. Strong grip. Take a big inhale. We activated our grip in our warm up, so you guys should be ready for this. With that breakation move, we're working our grip and lengthening those lateral lines, feeling that hip open. So you should be feeling it in that left hip here and the lats. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I'm gonna have you turn to your right, looking over that front thigh. Rotation. Feeling it in that right glute, left hip. Slowly come back center. Let's take a nice rotation to the opposite side. This time, your back foot comes down. Heel down. Push your body a little bit forward here. Keep driving those sticks into the floor. It's about 40 to 50% tension. Breathe. And wrap back center. Dorsiflex that back foot. Get one more deep hang here. Breathe. Load is in that front foot and ease on out. Let's switch legs. So left foot forward, right back again. Nice high lunge here, split stance. You can always have that back foot in a little more if you need a little more modification here. Here we go. Big inhale. And exhale and hang. Slow turn to your left, looking over your left thigh. Right here. Now, my grip is really working hard here. Because I'm hanging as I'm rotating. Feeling that in my left glute, right hip. Slow rotation to the right, back foot comes down, 
and open. Breathe. Hold for a moment, go a little bit deeper, push into that lunge a little bit more if you can. Slowly wrap back to center, front load, front foot, ease on out. Good job, you guys. All right, we're going to ditch one of our sticks. Working with one. Find your anchor point. So find a place either... I'm going to show it to you what's going to anchor into my couch here so you can see the movement a little bit better. But again, what you're looking for is a wall or a steady piece of furniture here. Okay. Standing on the end of my sit, driving it right into my anchor point, taking a split stance back to that lunge, back to that lunge. It's the outside leg. Drive, think 40 to 50% tension, pushing that stick in. Reach that arm up high. We're gonna do, we're gonna do some shoulder mobility work. If you have any shoulder issues, just manage your range of motion. If this is as far as you can go, that is fine. Be very mindful of your shoulder movement here. And it's not just a rotation, we're driving. This is strength here too. So you can have hands on your thigh, hands on hip, wherever feels comfortable. I'm gonna put it on thigh, drive, and start to move that arm forward. Keep that tension on the stick. And it's coming right across that outside leg. I'm gonna reach my arm out. Hold, drive, tricep. Breathe. Now slowly open that arm. Facing forward. You're not following it. You're going to pull that arm back. Straight back. If it's here, that's fine. Just go to your range. Reach that arm forward. Breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And again. Wrap it front. Drive, working that arm. You're in that nice split stance. One more time, open, open, keep that drive, reach front and open. Bring that arm back up high and step on out. Nice job, you guys. All right, facing out now. Still working that right arm. Still working that right arm. So driving the sit behind you, drive. Go back into your lunge, back into your lunge. My grip is right in the center of the handle here. Strong grip. And I'm gonna go into a lunge, deep lunge, Drive that stick down. I'm, I have tension on the stick, you guys, about 40 to 50% tension. Open. Open. Lower. Come on up. Keeping that tension on. Let's do it again. Drive. Lateral open. Lower. We're working, this is our strength portion of the class. So you should be feeling some heat. Let's go again. Lunge. This tension into your anchor point is allowing you to really get stable in your lunge, helping with balance. Open, lateral raise, and close, and lift. Step on out. Nice job, you guys. All right, I'm gonna show, we're gonna switch sides. So we have to get this opposite arm, but I'm gonna show it to you sideways here now. Little bit different angle. Here we go. Left arm, left arm here. So seeing what I'm doing here, stick is high. 
drive. Outside leg, switching the legs, outside leg. Here we go, drive, 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 50 to 60 percent tension. And wrap that arm in front. And my arm is coming towards you. Hold. Open up. You're gonna wrap it still facing forward. Arm comes behind, except this time, I'm reaching forward. You might find that the range of motion might be slightly different in both shoulders. Each shoulders, this one I don't have as deep. Here we go. Lower and open. Still facing forward though. Drive. Breathe. Here we go. Open, reach back. Now your time under tension here. And bring that arm up high. Drive. Slowly come on out. All right, I'm sweating here. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to show it to you from the front now. Same thing. You're still working the same arm. Same leg is forward. Drive that stick behind you. Feeling it right in the tricep here. You're in a high split stance. Remember, we're going to lower into that lunge and that lateral raise. Here we go. Big inhale. Exhale. Lower. Just yourself. Lunge. I'm gonna laterally raise that arm. I'm just bringing both arms out. You could do whatever you want. We're just focusing. Hold. Lower. And come up. Let's do two more. Here we go. Drive. Push that stick into the anchor point behind you. Raising that arm. Keep that tension. Lower. And lift. One more. Here we go. Big inhale. Exhale. Drive. And open. Drive, drive, drive. Lower. Time under tension here. And ease on out. Whew. All right. That was our strength portion. We're going to go into deep stretch here. So I'm taking you into, our deep stretch for today is Ninja. And it's gonna be a five part flow. Starting with number one, first part. Just shake everything out, take a nice wide stance here and wide horse stance. You're gonna take that stick on the inside of your right foot. Make sure it's really connected, right? Maybe where the big toe joint is. Reaching up, not hyperextended, keep a softened elbow. So it's maybe more towards the lower part of the grip. Part one, ninja. We're gonna hinge forward and reach for the floor. It's a brachiation move, hang. Breathe. Ease on out. Shake it out. Let's move to part two. Go back into that hang. Part two, lightly grip with that left hand and lateral lunge to the left. And we're gonna progress in how deep we go on these stretches through this flow. That right arm slightly comes behind your shoulder. Come back to part one, ease on out. Moving on to part three. Part one, hang. Two, light grip, lateral lunge. Now part three, you're gonna shift that lunge to your right as you cross that right arm across your chest and reach. 
Number three. Go back to part two. It's a flow. Be mindful, focus on every movement. Back to one. Ease on out. Part four. In fact, we're gonna add four and five together. So one, two, three, and then I'll take you four, five. It's very simple. Here we go. Number one, hinge. Now again, each time you move into these different parts, I want you to think about going a little bit deeper, maybe 10% deeper in your range of motion. Move to number two, lightly touch. Breathe. Go into three, cross that arm over reach. Hold it here. Opening up the right arm only, right arm only. Four. Now five, you're gonna shift to that left side, shift. If you can, hand on knee, or reach for the floor, going deeper. And ease on out. We're gonna take that whole flow together. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll switch to the other side. Here we go, one. Two, three, four, five. Ease on out. Nice job. All right, let's get our ninja flow left side. This arm feels about a foot longer than the other one right now. <laughs> Let's even it out. Instep of that left foot. High grip. Nice strong grip. Part one, hinge forward and reach. Really feeling that opening up that pec, that bicep. Work with the breath. Big inhale, exhale. Ease on out. We're gonna move to part two. Here we go, reach. Lightly grip with that right hand. Lateral lunge to the right. Part two. Move back to number one. There we go. Ease on out. Let's move on. We're going to take it to number three, part three. Let's go. Flowing into this. One. Light grip at the bottom. Shift, part two. Number three. Left side, wrap that left arm across the chest. Your grip is going to naturally glide down and reach. Really feeling it in that Latin shoulder. Go back to part two. Back to part one. Ease out. Nice. All right, we're adding part four and five on, and then we'll do that entire flow in a sequence. Drive. Reach for part one. Breathe. Strong connection here. Reach, number two, here. Move to three. Stay here. Open up. Four. Five. Remember we have that deep adductor and if you can, reach for the floor. Load is in that right foot and ease yourself out of this. All right, we're going to do that whole sequence in a nice strong flow. Let's do this team. We've got it with the breath. Inhale. One. Two. Three. 
three. Breathe, four. Drive, drive this stick, five. How deep can you go? Getting that adductor. And ease on out. Whew. That is our five part ninja. Now, if I had more time, I'd probably take you through it a couple more times. But that, we're gonna get our bow and arrow in. <laughs> so ending with our signature stick mobility bow and arrow. Shake everything out. Hope you guys are feeling good. We had to do a lot of shoulder stuff here. Really opening up. Three o'clock. Inside arm, 90. So drive, drive, drive. Reaching up high. Strong grip. Shift hips to the left. Keep those hip bones facing me. Drive that stick in. Take a big inhale. And exhale. This is the first one. We're doing three. Actually, we're going to do four. Four on each side. Hold. Ease on out. All right. We're going to do a second one. So each time we move into this bow and arrow, think about getting a deeper range of motion, even if it's just 10% more than your first one. The third one will be your best one. Here we go. Three o'clock. Drive. Top hand, drive, shift, hips, inhale, exhale, activate. Keep it strong. Slowly come out of it. Keep that drive. We're gonna move into that third one, third one. Drive, shift, inhale, exhale, Full activation if you can do it. If you want to get even deeper, you can just look to the sky. You've got this, the hips coming in. Keep pressing. You're pushing and pulling. Working oppositional here. Breathe. Come back face center if you're looking up. and ease on out. Nice job. Taking it to the corner. So you're still holding with that left arm. Bring the stick out in front at an angle. You're gonna come into a split stance. It's a different bow and arrow. Bring the stick in a little bit closer to that front foot, maybe about 12 inches away from that front foot. Drive. This is the movement. We're going to shift our body and push our body weight into it. But the key, you don't want this, okay? So you have to drive in. Drive in. Here we go. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Activate. You're pressing. That back foot is dorsiflexed. Hold, hold, hold. Working oppositional again. Breathe, and ease on out. Nice job. Let's hit that left side, opposite side. I'm at nine o'clock here, right where the sticker is. Reach up. So let's go right into it, three of them. Drive, first one not as deep. We're gonna go strong, stronger, strongest. Shift, inhale and activate. Try to keep those hip bones facing forward. Don't hold your breath, keep that breath strong. And ease on out. Second one, we're gonna go stronger in our activation. If you can, challenge yourself, drive, shift hips, inhale, and exhale. Hold, hold, hold. Ease on out. All right, third one, 
best one. Drive, shift with the breath, inhale and exhale. Hold. Again, we have that oppositional strength press here. If you wanna rotate and look to the sky, go for it. This is just an option. Keep that breath strong. Back to facing forward. And slowly come out of it. Corner bow and arrow. Top hand still at the top. Go into a nice high lunge. Stick comes in about a foot away from that front foot. Drive. The movement is pushing. So you're feeling in the hip, activating. You're gonna feel it in that tricep. Drive. Big inhale. And exhale, push. Keep driving that stick in. I'm up on that back toe. If you need that back heel, go for it. That heel needs to be placed down for a little more stability. Hold, 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 breathe. I'm pulling and pressing. Feeling it in that hip, my right hip. Slowly, slowly, ease on out. Awesome. All right, that concludes our mobility flow for Thursday. Let's end with just one last resting pose, just to get some breath work in and get a nice lengthening movement through the spine. So take that stick again to 12 o'clock. Just let the whole body go soft for a moment. Let everything go soft. Your grip is soft, shoulders soft, belly soft. Let's take a nice inhale through the nose for four counts. Inhale, two, three, four. Now exhale through the mouth and pull the hips back and reach. Just let, again, this is a soft movement. Your body is just, just letting go a bit here. You wanna move a little bit. Take another big deep breath. Exhale. Soften the knees and bone by bone coming out of this. So draw navel in, a little C curve in the spine. Lifting the head, keep that chin tucked a little bit. Soften those shoulders, elbows, looking straight ahead. And just let everything go. Thank you, you guys. Thank you for joining me this morning. Again, my name is Debbie Gleason. You can follow me on Debbie F. Gleason Instagram. Any questions you have about the sticks, please send a message to Stick Mobility on this platform. You can also look for, I have a discount code on my page. It's just Debbie G, Debbie G, if you're interested in getting some sticks. If you haven't, if you've just been kind of peeking in on these classes and kind of curious, I recommend you getting the sticks. This is the most amazing way to train your body to keep doing what you want to do. If you're an athlete, you're not an athlete, this is the movement. This is what keeps helping us move better. So, we, oh, I don't know. The short stick, I'll show it to you. Two long sticks and then the short stick. The short stick is an amazing. There's so many things that we can work with the short stick too. So again, See you guys in two weeks. I won't be here next Thursday. Uh, George is subbing for me and he's amazing. So you guys have a wonderful Thursday. Mwah.